Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, my name is Lauren and I am a fashion designer. I've been sharing a little bit of my tips and tricks as well as a little bit of my process as I move forward with this new collection. So last time you guys saw me, I was working on initial patterns and I'm at the point now where the patterns are in the final stages. We are completing the muslin samples and fabric samples are coming in. I'm getting ready to do some additional fittings. A good tip is that if you can't find a fit model, maybe they can't come in the day that you need or something like that, um, see if you can get a friend who is maybe about the size that you're looking for and just if you can convince them to try it on, that may give you a better idea of if something is too long, if something's too short, maybe you need to add more wearing ease, uh, something like that. I would definitely recommend that you do this before you spend thousands of dollars on fabric. And I would also recommend that you do not, big no, thumbs down, do not do the fitting on yourself. It's so important for you when you try a garment on to get a full 360 view of what's going on. And I think if you actually are wearing the garment, you're really selling yourself short on valuable information that you needed to get out of that fitting. So just to give you guys an idea, I will usually hand over the paper pattern, a muslin sample and a tech pack when I move forward in the manufacturing process. I'll give you guys a quick, so something like this, I'll have a paper pattern and then I will literally give them something that full muslin mock-up. Um, this one has the facing sewn in, it has a zipper in it, and this is just an example. This is something for them to reference, and I think this is so important because it helps clear up questions that may pop up, and this whole process is really a big game of communication. Okay, so without further ado, I'm gonna get into the fabric that actually just got here yesterday. But before I spend a lot of money on fabric, I always like to ask the supplier if they're willing to sell me some sample yardage. So sometimes if they say yes, it may be at a different price than the rate you were going to get if you bulk purchased. To me, it's worth a couple extra dollars to make sure that you're getting something good. Sometimes it's hard to really get a good concept of how the fabric is going to behave just from a swatch, right? One of my biggest reasons that I do this is so that I can actually follow my own care advice. Um, oh. So if the fabric care instructions say something like wash in warm water, tumble dry low, I'm going to try that out on the sample yardage before I make something that I sell to the customer. And when I try it myself, I'm going to watch for things like color bleeding or shrinkage, or if I notice any changes, like there's issues with like abrasion, if it's fading or something weird, um, whatever. This is going to be kind of like my first round of quality checks. I can make a choice from there if I need to pass on maybe additional instructions to the customer. If I like the fabric, I think it's still a good fit. Maybe I'll, I'll give them some additional information or if I need to select new fabric altogether, or if I can just go ahead and place the full order. So let's do it. Came with a little packing slip. I usually always check to make sure that what is in this box is actually what I paid for. <laughs> let's see what's in here. So everything is black. So hopefully you'll be able to see what I am looking at. This is crepe, it's really pretty. And one thing too is since everything's black, I'm kind of checking if like my blacks are matching right. See, you can see it. Nice, has a little bit of a sheen. Okay, so we've got the crepe. We've got some actually really nice lining fabric. This is a uh, China silk lining. So I'm feeling this and from the swatch, it felt a little softer than it feels now that I have a larger quantity. So I'm actually gonna test it and see what does this feel like after I wash it. And that's something I'm gonna leave myself like little notes. Okay. 
Okay, this is the ITY knit. So I liked this one because on its own, I think it's a little bit sheer, but I think as a garment facing or lining, it feels nice up against my skin and I think it'll be durable. Okay, guys. Okay, I was really mostly probably excited about this. Um, I'm sure you can see this. Hopefully it's picking up the light. This is some really beautiful sequence fabric. That's gonna be nice, guys. This one is a satin fabric. And I love this, guys. This came out really nice. So it's really nice because it's like a medium weight fabric. It's not really wrinkling, so that's kind of exciting. It has just enough sheen to look fancy without looking cheap. So that is gonna be beautiful. I can't wait to show you guys the finished garment for that one. We have some interfacing here. This is a knit fusible, so we're gonna add that to the experiment pile. This is a fantastic example right here of reading the description and getting something completely different in the mail. The, this is a, a woven interfacing and this is described as black. I know, right? This is definitely gray to your eyes and my eyes, I'm sure. Uh, so I will be ordering a different interfacing. This, I do not like that. So that goes in the note pile, but so far we got pretty, pretty lucky. We have good odds right now. This is a beautiful Ponty knit. This is going to be really nice. I was hoping, and I got lucky, that feels really soft. It has a really kind of like luxurious hand to it. It's not see-through. So if I want to do something that's a little more body conscious, I can do that without my customer feeling like exposed. No one wants to have like a see-through dress. Um, and then this is something that I can add like a facing to and that way it won't feel bulky or anything like that. But it, this is great. I'm actually really happy with this. Color is great. Obviously it's black, but it's like a, it feels like a true black and not where it's like really like a charcoal-y kind of color. Okay, this is awesome. I could roll around in this stuff. This is a beautiful two-way stretch velvet. I love this. I am all about this, guys. Oh, even the back side feels really nice. Last, but definitely not least, is this beautiful this is really pretty, guys. This is a chiffon. Let's see if I can get a little corner up. Yeah. This is a really pretty chiffon. It actually has a little bit of a texture to it, if you can see. Almost kind of like a crepey type texture, but it's really, really subtle. This is beautiful. Okay, guys, I'm hyped. I really like this. Thank you so much to everybody who is a new subscriber and thank you to everyone who gives me all the super sweet thumbs up. Thank you for all the wonderful, super sweet messages, all the nice emails and texts that I get about the videos. It's really nice. Also, please go ahead and feel free to comment down below if you have any questions for me about what I just showed you or what you would like to see next from me. I'm trying to share as much as I can that I think people would be interested in seeing. But if you're interested in something that maybe I'm not thinking of, I would definitely love to hear from you. So go ahead and um, type one out down below. But I will keep you guys posted when I get to the next step. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.